I got a package in the mail. I had no idea what it was. Oh. It's from YouTube. And oh, I'm so excited. Oh. God. This is like the coolest kind of like little accomplishment thing ever. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> are we super zoomed in right now? If you are, it's this. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. Oh. Yay! Oh this my is the god, thing that's ever. so sick. Congratulations for surpassing 100,000 subscribers. Now I think the only other time they give you like an achievement award is for when you hit like a million, so it's pretty far off, but this is cool. <laughs> You'll get there. I can't say this is like not the coolest thing that I own. That is so sick. I think it comes out and it's just this. They gave you a nice letter too? Yeah. I'm and the CEO. Like, I'm the asshole that looks at the present before I read the card. Every person who has subscribed to your channel is touched by what you did. They were inspired, challenged, or entertained. Wow. This is so cool! Stamp. I'm like so excited about this. Official AF. Official AF? You say AF. AF. I say AF. Love it. Ta -da. Yay, I'm so excited. <laughs> Nine forty-five in the morning, and I literally just waited until this came to get breakfast. Favorite, favorite, coffee, obviously, and then having some <clears throat> um, ice mocha cafe select series in here because protein and coffee together. I'm just doing like half a scoop. Protein and coffee together. Great option for if you're like rushing in the morning and you just want to get like a solid bolus of protein in. 20 grams of protein in here. And all you have to do is mix it like coffee. It's not like a replacement for your protein, but it just mixes well with coffee. And like that's how you're supposed to uh, prepare it. see me doing all three lists in this video and with squats I always start off with squats um, with this my main focus from now on into the meat is just gonna be perfecting my form a hundred percent so um, this was before I got instructions from my coach so after this workout my coach watched this video and he said my main focus from here on out so you guys are gonna be seeing me working on this in the next few videos is going to be making sure that I hit depth so in the USAPL they're very very strict on form and I my main goal a hundred percent right now like I don't even care if I hit PRs like I've already hit my numbers that I want to hit um, if I hit PRs cool but I want to go nine for nine so that means that I'm gonna be having three attempts for each lift during the meet and I want to hit every single one of them without failing which just means that I won't be able to get it up or without getting red lighted so I need to make sure that my depth is on point or else I will get red lighted and I'll miss that number or I'll miss that attempt essentially during the meet so that's my main goal right now is to just go nine for mine my first meet I want to get my confidence up and just that's like my 100% goal right now so my main focus is going to be making sure that I hit depth and with that I'm going to be focusing on um the cue that I need to remember is to just push my knees out as much as possible and really think about that when I'm deep into the hole and just use that momentum from hitting depth, pushing my knees out, giving my torso a little bit more room in the bottom and pushing, exploding completely out of the bottom. So this workout was me um, not doing that and like not focusing on that as much because I hadn't gotten like critiques from my coach after this video yet, but you guys will be seeing me do that more in the next couple videos. I'm excited to show you guys um, how I'm practicing and everything. And really technique is everything. When I'm teaching other people how to um, 
do compound lifts or any other exercise, I always say 100% like focus on your form before you do anything else. Like if you're adding weight to the bar and it feels really heavy, but you don't feel like it's right and you know that your form isn't really right, focus on doing that first. Videotape yourself, watch other people, look up um, more instructional videos. I think Alan Thrall, um, I'll put his link in the YouTube description. He has like some of the best videos on instructing how to do the compound lift. So I would check those out 100% and I will let you guys watch the rest of the workout footage. So our lift today is pretty simple. I'm doing 88%. So my coach wrote out the next month of month month of lifts for me. <laughs> so I know exactly what I'm doing for the whole entire next month. So today is four by three. So four sets of three for everything. Squat, bench, and deadlift. And then I'm doing 88%. Woo! 88% squat, bench, and deadlift. So squats were at 205. Bench is gonna be at 95 and then deadlifts are gonna be at like 205 to 10. So when it comes to bench press, something that a lot of you guys who have been following me for my bikini preps might not know in terms of a powerlifting competition, you actually have to pause at the bottom of the bench press for it to count. So they will cue you and they'll tell you when to unrack, they'll tell you when to, um, I forget the other cue, I need to learn these a little bit better actually. Um, but at the bottom they'll say pause and then they'll say push up and then they'll say rack it. So all of those cues you have to follow um, while you're doing your lift and if you don't follow them you'll get red lighted and your lift will not count so every single bench rep that I'm gonna be doing for the next couple of weeks before the leading up to the meet they're all gonna be paused so I'm just gonna focus on perfecting my form and perfecting that so I can um, not get red lighted in the meet like that's something that I do not want to happen so I'm gonna spend a lot of time focusing on that you'll see me doing that here <laughs> I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about what I want to work on for my deadlift. So my hip lockout and my glute, hamstring, and my abs stay really tight throughout the entirety of my deadlifts, but my lower back does round a little bit, and that's because my upper back does not stay tight throughout the whole entire movement. So to prevent that from happening, I'm going to focus on doing some warm-ups to open my upper back. So I'm going to do some wide grip um, seated rows and stuff like that, some rear delt flies with the cable, things to really open my upper back. And the one thing that, the, the one cue that really helps me with deadlifts is to think about my back as a knob so i turn the back knob all the way on and just tighten everything pack my shoulders pack my lats focus on tightening that and then think of my legs as another knob and then as i'm pulling my upper back is completely tight my entire back knob is turned on and then as i'm pulling my leg knob slowly turns on and then i lock out at the top so that's what i'm going to focus on those are the three things for squat bench and deadlift that i need to focus on and really hone in on over the next couple weeks so i'll let you guys finish the workout footage and enjoy the rest of the video give it a thumbs up if you're enjoying it so far and i'll catch you guys in the next clip life has its ups and downs we call them squats <laughs> this is, uh, so i don't know if i've even mention this on my YouTube channel. Brian is in, I must have somewhere. If you guys didn't hear, Brian's in the top five finalists for the bodybuilding.com spokesmodel search. <laughs> and if you guys follow me from last year, that was the event that like really just changed my life completely. And um, I'm really excited for him. He's headed to Boise today. So he's leaving me and going to Idaho to go to headquarters. How excited are you? I can't even put it into words how excited I am. Um, You've been following his channel, you know, look how pumped he is about this. Yeah, um, this whole journey has just been a whirlwind and it's been like the best thing that's ever happened to me and I'm just super excited for the next three, three, four days. He's going to Boise and they're doing the photo shoots, the video shoots, meeting all the team members, checking out the headquarters and everything, and I'm just super excited to be here to support him. And then he'll be at the LA Fit Expo competing, so you guys will see that. I'm bringing Austin with me to the Fit Expo so we can get everything recorded for you guys, so I don't miss anything, just because I like engaging with people at expos, so I'm excited. But he's leaving me today, so I'm gonna take him to the airport. 
in like 30 minutes or so. I'm sort of sad, but I'm excited for him. <laughs> and then he comes back up this weekend for the expo, so. So yeah. <laughs> or is it just like a playlist or what? No, it's just it's SoundCloud. Oh. Grinch. Uh, so if you don't know, okay. This is weird if you don't get it. Pray for Brian's tongue 2017. But if you've ever watched him work out, do it, do it, do an example. That's how he works out with his tongue like that, and it seems like it's gonna break off. <laughs> I don't even realize, guys, you don't understand. I don't realize I do it. I watch the video back and I'm like, oh, I'm biting my tongue really hard. I have no idea that I'm doing it. I'm just like focused <laughs> on moving the weight. Pray for Brian's tongue 2017. And, <laughs> and throughout life, I've done it with everything. When I'm focusing on work, when I'm in a soccer game, anything I'm focusing really hard, I bite my tongue. So it's just been an entire life thing that people make fun of you for. I think it's cute. <laughs> well, thank you. That's on the dose. Be on my vlog. Be on my vlog. It's so yellow in my house. Oh, I need to get white know, light bulbs. We're gonna replace ours. Getting white light bulbs immediately. Yeah, I'm gonna write that trip. down. Oh, a Home Depot trip? trip together, yeah. And I'll replace our light bulbs. The daylight uh, light bulbs, what they're called or whatever. White light bulbs. Yes. I love making lists. <laughs> it makes me so happy when it like updates Same. to your phone. Oh wait, you just turned blue. That was weird. Like the camera just turned from yellow to blue. Anyway. Hi Em! Hi! And yes, what else we have? I have not introduced you on my vlog yet because I haven't vlogged today. Oh my gosh, I haven't been in your vlogs for like months. What's your name? What do you do? Hi, Where are you from? I'm Randy Kennedy and BFF. I'm a friend from Canada that comes for months at a time and moves in. You know you're a BFF when you have one of those. I made it guys. <laughs> oh. I made it. Bucci's best. No, I'm not wearing it because I'm oh. recording. Okay, I don't have mine on either. I was like drenched in sweat. Trust me, didn't want me to wear it. I always wear my necklaces regardless. I'm never gonna really? take it off. Thank you. Oh, I love you. Look, can you see the heart on it? Yeah. I don't so think ours have hearts. Because I got oh. I know, I'm slightly jealous. I, I got hearts. Well, ours are um gold and like I got those first and then Oh, it's so pretty. So cute. So cute. It is Look so at that cute. nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry this vlog is slightly randomly put together. Brian left on Tuesday and it is now Thursday night. So uh, I haven't vlogged the last two days because I've been like at my computer just sitting and working. Um, and by working, I mean that I'm working on something really exciting for you guys for 2017. So I stopped taking online clients this past um, May or so. Like I've had like a few, but it hasn't been too, too many just because I wanted to scale off and I was really focusing on building my YouTube channel and it's really difficult to balance everything. Like focusing on clients is something that I take pride in and I didn't wanna like take on too many as to where my quality of services were diminishing because I was busy doing other things and like I was traveling a lot at the end of the year and it was just getting to me that I wasn't able to respond back to clients in a timely manner because I was traveling. So now that I have a little bit um, more time and a little bit more freedom this year. I'm not traveling as much. I do want to start working with people again because it makes me feel really fulfilled to like work with you guys one-on-one -on -one. Um, or in like a group setting. I'm not gonna do one-on-one -on -one coaching, but I am going to um, a, do a challenge. So I have a couple of them that I organized. These are like tentative dates, guys. Like don't hold me to these because this is like what I have kind of scheduled out, but it depends on like how things go and like if they're successful and stuff like that. So, um, I have the first one. I'm hopefully going to be starting on February 6th. So it's a month away right now, January 5th. So it's a month away and um, I am getting everything organized now. I have some stuff that I did last year that I did, I've done challenges before and stuff and they went really well. And I'm going to be having um, an assistant this year helping me out with check-ins and stuff. So I will be involved as much as possible, but I do want you guys to get everything in a timely manner. So that person's just gonna be helping me out, make, making sure that everybody who's involved in the challenge is getting what they deserve in a timely manner. And I'm gonna be involved um, doing Facebook interactions and I'm gonna be getting you guys exclusive videos, uh, FAQ videos, I'm gonna be doing Facebook Live with only the challenge people. Um, it's not going to be just for 
girls either. Like, if you're a guy, you can definitely do this. I have like a little thing that I wrote up about it. What did I do with it? I have like eight Word documents up on my computer right now. Where is it? I don't even know. Nope, this is not it. There it is. So my goal for this is that you're going to be getting a very effective program that's gonna include your compound lifts. So I want people to learn how to do these compound lifts, squat, bench, and deadlift, um, like to start off with. And especially if you're a beginner, it's scary to do those movements as a beginner. So it's not gonna be like the main focus of it, but I do want you to get comfortable using a barbell. Um, it, it could also be if you're someone who's like, already been in the gym for a little while and you want like a more efficient program and you're just kind of going to the gym without something that's structured this is going to be something that's structured you're going to be working muscle groups multiple times a week you're going to be getting um rest days you're going to be well-rounded you're going to be getting cardio guidance you're going to be getting um check-ins once a week again with help from my assistant um and it's not going to be something that's completely specific to you guys like it's a challenge so that means that a lot of people do these kind of challenges. Um, everybody's gonna be getting the same workout, but again, it's for people that are kind of just starting out and want something that's more structured. And then I kind of explained to you guys within the challenge that um, as you get, um, as you become a more experienced lifter and a more experienced person in the gym, that's when you start getting more specific with your goals because you've already started working on everything all at once and you don't necessarily like have super, super specific goals for yourself. And as you get more experience, that's when you start to hone in on like what your weak points are, what your weaknesses are and what you want to really work on. And this is like kind of an all encompassing thing. So I'm really excited about it. And I've been working very, very hard on it for the last few days. And it is Thursday. And tomorrow starts the Fit Expo weekend and I literally have the entire weekend busy and booked out like completely. So I have a really fun collab for it with someone else tomorrow and I'm excited about it. And the whole Expo weekend is gonna be fun, but that's what I've been working on. And um, if you guys are interested, comment below and you guys can like give me some ideas and stuff cause I still have like a few weeks that I'm gonna be finishing it up. So comment below if you're interested, if you wanna join it. I posted about it on Instagram already. And if you guys aren't following my Instagram, I've been talking for a really long time, I'm sorry. If you guys aren't following my Instagram, I also started a challenge via Instagram only. And it's just for you guys to get more involved with me. Like, like I said, I like interacting with you guys a lot. I started a hashtag. Hashtag is gonna be where I'm checking to see what you guys are doing and I'm posting challenges that are gonna like challenge you as a person. So today I posted one that said, go do something outside of your comfort zone and use that hashtag and then from that hashtag I'm gonna pick someone to win a hundred dollar gift card for bodybuilding.com so I'm gonna be finding my giveaway members through there as well so if you haven't followed me on Instagram go check that out those are some of the things that I'm working on for 2016 and I'm just really excited about everything that's to come um, again just trying to get more involved with you guys trying to hone in on like what I want you guys to get for my YouTube channel from you guys to get for my social media platforms and I just want to be really involved so thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next video